Expats Fleeing Their Countries, Part 1. You heard from many people, including the Patriots, that there is no place to run, no place to hide. Uh, they say this either out of ignorance or they are part of the problem and not part of the solution. For those who really believe that there is no place to escape, such as Alex Jones, it is because they either never, never left the country or they just left as a tourist and did not do their diligent research. First, I would like to address Christians who think that it is not right to flee trouble. The Bible has many verses about people fleeing the country, or at least fleeing the city, in times of trouble. Uh, you have David, who later became king, fled from King Saul. He fled the city, and he was a fugitive. At least that is what we would call it today. And God blessed his efforts. Then you have Joseph, who took Mary and Jesus left the country and fled to Egypt. It was the angel of Yahweh that told him to do so. They stayed in Egypt for a couple of years until the king died. Also notice that the Holy Family lived among non-Christians and non-whites. So, if you do likewise, don't think that this is bad. There are many, many reasons why people are leaving America, Britain, France, and other nations. A couple of examples are taxes, government control over businesses, GMO foods, risk of social services, kidnapping their children, and the list goes on and on. When you live in the right country abroad, you'll find that you have much more freedom. There will be some things that are not as good but you have to look at the most important things to determine what country to live in. Yes, nearly all countries have signed on to some international treaty that limits your freedom, but that doesn't mean that they enforce those laws. I know as I have lived in such countries. For example, if you want to live where you can buy food that you don't have to worry about, it being genetically modified, you can be more certain in countries, in uh, certain countries in South America, where food is grown locally, it's organic, and it's cheaper than the commercially grown food in America. Hey, this is not a minor thing, as GMO food can cause cancer. And if that isn't not enough reason to move, then nothing is. Take the people, mostly white, who have fled South Africa. They moved to the UK. Though the UK has crime, it's not as high as in South Africa. While the UK is not the best choice, it certainly is better than South Africa. How do you choose which country to move to? That will be addressed in the near future in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel subscribe below and uh, I'll see you later.